This first recipe is my personal favorite. You need half a cup of almond milk, two tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, and some nuts or granola as toppings, and two and a half frozen peeled bananas. When you mix it all together, the frozen bananas will actually make your smoothie taste a lot sweeter and really help with the texture. To serve, this should make at least two bowls and you can always add some crunch and protein with some nuts and a banana on top. This bowl is so delicious and sweet, it's perfect for satisfying that sweet tooth. For this recipe, you'll need some fresh berries, two and a half cup frozen berries, I got this mix at Target, one cup plain Greek yogurt, my personal favorite is fahe, and one cup of milk. To tie it all together, I added some fresh berries on top and some almond butter and almonds for additional protein and crunch. This smoothie bowl is absolutely perfect for breakfast or just drinking on a nice hot day. For those of you who've seen my last video, the no sugar challenge, I also did something a little creative. You can always use your leftover smoothie for some popsicles using whatever resources you have. The night before, prepare half a cup of old-fashioned oats, half a cup of almond milk, one teaspoon honey, and a pinch of salt. Mix it all together in a small bowl or mason jar and put it in the fridge overnight. The next morning for this berry variation, take out your oats, some chia seeds, and some berries and mix. The fruit really gives it a pop of flavor and sweetness and the chia seeds pack a ton of fiber, antioxidants, and quality protein that will fill you right up. If you want something with a little more flavor, I also love mixing the oats with almond butter or peanut butter and a banana. It's not the most aesthetic thing, but it does the trick and is really tasty. I'm absolutely in love with the taste and color of this smoothie. It's packed with nutrients, but doesn't taste like a health drink, if you know what I mean. You'll need a half an avocado cut up for blending convenience, one tablespoon of the nut butter of your choice, one chilled banana, three fourths cup almond milk, and one cup spinach. Put all the ingredients in the blender, adjusting the amount of almond milk to the thickness you want and adding ice if desired. This mixture came out just thick enough to double as a smoothie bowl, but thin enough to drink from a straw, perfect for drinking on the go. So this is probably the easiest breakfast ever, just one cup plain Greek yogurt and some berries. I quartered the strawberries and also used a few drops of vanilla extract to give it some flavor. You can also add some honey as an additional sweetener. Super simple, right? Chia seeds are perfect for filling you up without too many calories. They contain healthy fats like omega-3 and loads of fiber and protein to keep you full. You're going to need about 4 tablespoons of chia seeds and 1 cup of almond milk. And then you're just going to mix it up so that the chia seeds are covered with almond milk. Set it in the fridge for at least 2 hours. So this is the next morning. It's going to retain the same kind of pudding consistency. And I like to mix with some fresh berries. Strawberries are my favorite. Some honey and some vanilla extract. I'm pouring about two teaspoons of honey in, but if you don't like the strong flavor of honey, a few drops of vanilla extract will balance it out. All right guys, that's all the recipes I have for you for super simple sugar-free breakfast options. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.